Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be going over the best and top 10 PS5 games to play right now for 2021. If you find this video helps you to decide what game to purchase and play, please hit the like and subscribe if you're new. More exciting videos will come out in the future after I move. Okay, the best PS5 games so far are the ones that will make you very happy to be a PS5 owner or very jealous of those that are. These titles are those that really showcase the features and capabilities of Sony's latest hardware, from graphics to performance, reduction of loading times, and impressive DualSense controller implementation. Just so you know, the order doesn't matter. Okay, number 10 on the list will be Fortnite. The Battle Royale Behemoth has arrived on PS5, and Fortnite looks glorious, with 4K support and up to 60 FPS in all game modes on PS5. Loading times have been reduced, which is perfect for when you just want to get back to winning. And the game world's physics have had a tweak that will make your old professor proud. Even better, the game supports those sexy adaptive, so you'll feel the difference when you pick up ranged weapons like the pistol, suppressed SMG, and bow action sniper rifle. All the action you know and love is still there, it's just had a serious next generation upgrade. Number 9, we have Astro's Playroom. Diving into this little toy box of technical wizardry is no brainer. It comes installed on your PS5. Don't discount it just because it's free though, as well as being a great way to get to know the DualSense new adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. It's a charming game in its own right. Pilot a glider, climb like a monkey, shoot ball guns in space, fight monsters and find collectibles and enjoy some cheeky nods to PlayStation history along the way. Explore and you'll find artifacts like UMDs and original PlayStation, puzzle pieces, and collect coins to have fun with the Gapachan machine. It's a great showcase for the machine's new technical highlights and gives you something to do while the next game on your playlist downloads. Okay, coming up, number 8 will be Dirt 5. One of the first racing titles on PS5 is a worthy entry in the Colin McRae Rally series, the 14th. In fact, in the form of Dirt 5, it's also the 8th Dirt game for players following the series, and its first foray into next gen is well worth jumping into. Even if you're more of a Mario Kart or Forza fan, this off-road racing bonanza has you following a variety of different race disciplines, including ice racing and off-roading. Events take place in locations from China to New York City, with no shortage of different areas to race in. There's also a car for everyone, whether you're into 80s rally cars to super lights or unlimited. You've got regular cars, buggies, beetles, and trucks to contend with all lovingly rendered and looking absolutely fantastic. Alright, number 7, we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The historical murder series is back with a bang with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, putting your in the fur line shoes of Viking clan leader Eivor. Build a new settlement in your old England, bring down kings to forge alliances, and travel with your longship crew to plunder the towns and monasteries of Mercia. This will stand as one of the great entries in the Assassin Creed series. Thanks to complicated hero Eivor, the brutal combat, and the wealth of customization options that cover everything from your fighting style to your face tattoo, there's rarely been a better match for the universe lore than the Viking Legends either. So you can expect some very interesting tangents as you explore the mysteries of Anglo-Saxon England, try to appease the pagan gods, and go on special dream quest. There's a reason the world has been obsessed with Vikings since they first went pillaging, and Valhalla only makes us love them more. Number 6, we have Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. The PS5 release of the Ghost of Tsushima is well worth diving into. Even if you played it through on PS4, the PS5 version upgrades the game to offer 4K graphics running at 60 FPS, wonderful DualSense features, and 3D audio support. 
The director's cut itself adds the new Ghost of Tsushima, Iggy Island expansion, which is a fantastic new side story set in an entirely fresh location. You learn more about Hirojin, meet new friends and foes, and be able to engage with some new side content, including adorable critters. It's quickly solidified itself as one of the best PS5 games. Next, this one's super cute. Number 5 is the Sackboy, A Big Adventure. A perfect platformers packed with delights and surprises, and absolutely stuffed with charm. In Sackboy, A Big Adventure, our titular hero visits different planets, think themes like jungle or the seafloor, to foil the plans of the evil Vex, and has lots of fun along the way. As well as looking like a party in a craft store, the game is packed with ingenious level design, giving you sticky feet so you can walk up walls, levels that move in time to music, and fun tools like boomerangs and grappling hooks. As a bonus, you can collect bells in the game to buy new outfits for your sack boy. From cute tigers to mix and match punk witch mountaineers, there's no part of this game that hasn't been built with buckets of love and a cherry smile. And it shows in every secret corner, ingenious enemy and piece of fluff. Whether you're getting it for your child or your inner child, it will make your day. The next one is one of my favorite. Number 4 is the Demon Souls. Dying horribly at the hands of a soulless monster has never looked so good. The 2009 cult classic Demon's Souls has been completely remade for the 4K age and is one of the best looking games on the new PS5. The motion capture, texture, and audio may all be new, but the hardcore action is utterly faithful to the original, offering the same brutal learning curve and sense of monumental achievement with every victory. From software's original formula has been respected, but there are some new tweaks too. New items, armor, and weapons to COVID, a change to the amount of healing grass you can carry, and new consumable grains that offer buffs as you adventure. Whether you're a veteran, warrior, or visiting the land of Boletaria for the first time, there's something special to discover in this iconic adventure. Oh, okay, all right, let's try that again. Number 3 on the list is Returnal. Returnal certainly won't be a game for everyone, but there's no denying how well it demonstrates the technological and graphical capability of the PS5. This challenging rock-like looks and feels absolutely fantastic. Between the haptic feedback bringing the ring of atropos to your very fingertip through the controller, or the visual splendor of neon against a monotone world, it's all utterly gorgeous. Like other roguelikes, the moment you die in Returnal, the loop begins again. Without heroing Selene, trying to figure out exactly what's going down on this alien planet, gain new upgrades, discover new weapons and alien tech, and work your way through the various biomes to reveal some of the truth behind the loops. Number 2 on the list will be Spider-Man Miles Morales, the next generation of Spider-Man, both technically and narratively, is packed with comic book adventure, heart and soul, and plenty of that oh so satisfying swimming through New York. As the attention switches from Peter Parker to Miles Morales, so does the action, with focus moving to his home turf of Harlem and a whole new set of teen turn superhero problems. Miles has some new powers this time around, like the bioelectric venom, 
and the haptic feedback of the DualSense makes them even more satisfying to dish out to criminals and near do well. Spider-Man Miles Morales manages the trick task of delivering a story that Venom punches you right in the heart, but it's also a place that you want to escape to after a long day in the real world, thanks mainly to Miles' charm and that sweet swinging Spider-Man, Miles Morales puts it off so well you wish Peter Parker a happy retirement without even a tear in your eye. Okay, finally, number one on the list will be Ratchet and Clank, Riff Apart. Ratchet and Clank, Riff Apart is at the top of my best PS5 games for two reasons. Not only is it the best Ratchet and Clank adventure yet, with our heroic duo taking us on an utterly memorable journey with some new friends, but it is also a powerful demonstration of what the PS5 can do. Dr. Nefarious has been at it again, stealing the Dimensionator and ripping holes between dimensions. Ratchet and Clank are split up, falling across the universe through the time and space, and enlist the help of fellow Lumbax, Rivet, to help stitch the universe back together. Flying through time rifts is utterly seamless, with not a loading screen in sight and the haptic feedback on the DualSense, along with those adaptive triggers, are used brilliantly. Ratchet and Clank has never looked, played, or been better. So that will be my top 10 best PS5 games for 2021. I thank you all for the support, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also don't forget to hit the like and share with your friends so that you can play together with your friend. Over the universe again. Yeah, I kind of wish he was doing a worse.